Now, the Hertz Conference Center will only hold 250 attendees tonight, ranging anywhere from local judges and congressmen to fellow compatriots. Now, I must note that face masks are mandatory, and the seating behind me is socially distanced. The doors open at 7 p.m., so quite frankly, the festivities have just begun. I'll have more later in the program. Edison, back to you. Now again, the night has only begun. So far, I'm seeing a lot of red apparel, mega face coverings, and felt cowboy hats. From the crowd, I'm hearing words such as heritage, values, and even fake news. Nationally, Biden is leading the Electoral College, while Trump has taken the popular vote. And judging from our local numbers, the fight for Texas will be a close one. But we're still counting votes, and the spirits at the Hearst Conference Center are still very high. Well, Edison, I am standing here with Reg Prisbel, a retired captain from American Airlines. So, Reg, I've just got a few questions for you. First one, we can all agree that in 2016, the pre-election forecast, it was very off. So in that, do you trust this year's polls or are you a little skeptical? Uh, very skeptical. Very skeptical. Yes. Over the past four years, we have seen Democrats turn Republican and vice versa. So my question to you is, have you always voted red and why? Uh, yes, I could say yes to that uh, recently or in, in the, say in the last 10 years. And uh, I just agree with the, uh, the uh, their attitude, uh, especially Trump. He got a lot done in a short amount of time. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. That's all here. Back to y'all at the desk. Thanks, Edison. It's been a very eventful night here at the Hearst Conference Center. As you can hear, we have the crowds behind me. They're just erupting in cheer as Texas has moved to Trump's favor. Now, that's it from the Republican Watch Party. Back to y'all at the studio.